Hi, I'm Carol Hart and I write children's books and I'm going to read you this story. It's called How to Find Egyptian Treasure and it's written by me and it's illustrated by Ed Eaves and published by Simon and Schuster. Are we ready? Let's go. Andy's riding a camel. It's boiling hot outside and I'm having fun digging in the sand pit. I'm just building a big sand castle when I'll be. I wonder who that is. It's mum. Lunch is ready, she says. Are you nearly finished? Almost, I say. But I don't hear what she says next because... A ferocious wind begins to blow. Whoa! It whips up the sand into a terrible tornado. Help! It's been lifted up into the air, look. Suddenly, someone grabs my hand and pulls me into a doorway. Great, says a boy. You're just in time. I wonder what he's in time for. My name's Tootie and I'm very important, he says. One day I'll be pharaoh like my dad, but right now I'm going exploring. Here, he hands me his headdress. Put this on and pretend to be me, he says. What? Wait, I gasp. But Tootie has gone. Just then a guard grabs my shoulder. Time for your speech, your highness, she says. Yikes! Would you like to give an important speech to lots of people? I'm not sure I would. Oh look, there they all are. All the people can you see them. On the balcony is a girl. Who are you? she hisses. And where's my brother? Quickly I tell her about Tootie. I bet he's gone to the catacombs. She exclaims. Catacombs are like a maze of caves underground. Dad says our great great granddad's precious treasure is hidden there. Tootie wants to find it, but we have to stop him. Why, I say. It sounds exciting. Some dangerous thieves are looking for the treasure too, says the girl, whose name is Anka. We've got to find Tootie before they do. Hurry! Oh goodness, <gasps> quick! We run out of the palace. Here they are. Through an alleyway. Over the sand dunes. We look past an oasis with a hippopotamus in it. To a gigantic sphinx. <gasps> Oh no! I think Tootie's already gone in, says Anka. Gone in, I say. Where? Anka pulls at the corner of a stone and a hidden door grinds open. Greek! Oh goodness. Would you go in there? I'm not sure I would. Got you! Oh! It's Tootie. Ha ha, scared you, he chuckles. There he is, look. You see those paintings on the walls and those signs here? Those are hieroglyphics. That's special ancient Egyptian writing. Tootie, cries Anka. We've got to get out of here. Do we have to, moans Tootie. Treasure hunting is fun. But as we turn to leave, Footsteps echo down the tunnel behind us. Uh-oh, oh dear. I think somebody's coming, look. Can you see? I wonder who it's going to be. I think the children better run away very quickly. We scuttle through the darkness until we reach a huge room. Quick, I say, in here. We dive into a chest and huddle together. 
when they are, though all can see the men look. I wonder if those are the dangerous thieves. Outside, the footsteps get closer. I know you're in here, growls a voice. Come on out. I try not to move, but the dust is tickling my nose. Then, ah, 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 chew! Oh no! Oh! The bottom of the chest falls away and we shoot down a slippery slope. Whoa! We tumble down a pile of rocks. Ah! I land in a heap at the bottom. Oof! But when we look up, <gasps> whoa! Wow, breathes Anchor. Our great great granddad's lost treasure. Dad will be so pleased. Hooray! There's just one little problem, says Tooty. How are we going to get home? Hmm. If someone got the treasure in, I say, then we must be able to get out. I spot a golden sarcophagus in the corner. Here it is. It's a kind of a coffin for a very important person from ancient Egypt. Perhaps this guy can help. I pretend to shake his hand and... Rumble, rumble, rumble. The sarcophagus begins to open. Oh no, cries Tootie. The ghost of King Ra is coming to get us. Oh dear. Wait here, says Anka. She disappears inside and the lid bangs shut. Anka, no, Tootie wails. Nothing happens for a long time. Then, boo! Ha ha, scared you, laughs Anka. Oh, look. What's out there? Look, Tootie, I say. Anka's found the way out. Oh, good. It was a hidden door, wasn't it? Back at the palace, a delicious smell fills the air. Lunchtime, great, cries Tootie. I'm starving. I give my new friends a hug. I better go too. I say, I think my lunch is ready too. Let's see what they've got for lunch. Oh, all sorts of interesting things. And there's a River Nile in the background, look. A boat. Oh, look. His mum. She's got Albie's lunch. Thanks for helping us, says Anka. We'll tell our dad where the treasure is so he can keep it safe forever. Well done, Tootie, I say. You'll make a great pharaoh one day. Uh-oh. At the end of every story, there's a clue to the next one and the next story is coming out this summer and it's going to be called how to drive a roman chariot it's going to be all about the romans the ancient romans there are lots of other albie books to enjoy here's just a few of them so do go to your bookshop or library pick one up and enjoy it all together that's it from me um see you again soon bye bye